Now, to get a legal perspective on what transpired yesterday, I'm joined by legal expert Datuk Murugesan Sinandava with advocate and solicitor from Messrs. Murugesan Sinandava and Associates. Welcome, Datuk. Now, uh, Najib Razak was found guilty of all seven charges in one MDB linked graph case. What are his legal options moving forth at this point on, Datuk? Okay, after this, um, I'm sure the, the uh, Najib's team will file an appeal, a notice of appeal to Court of Appeal. They have 14 days to file an appeal. And I'm sure they will, will uh, appeal against both the conviction and also the sentencing. And uh, for the prosecution, they might counter appeal against the uh, sentencing if they find the sentencing was too lenient. Of course, at the Court of Appeal stage, the Court of Appeal will look at whether the judge had made a mistake in law and also as to whether he has taken into consideration facts that he should not have taken into consideration or uh, did not take into consideration facts that he should have. So the Court of Appeal will look at do all of those things and Court of Appeal will decide either to quash the conviction or maintain the conviction and uh, change the uh, the sentencing itself, or might even send back the case back for retrial to the High Court. Those are the options available. Right. And within what approximate time frame could these legal options occur in Datuk? I think that is actually of the highest public interest for Malaysians. Yes. Uh, they have 14 days to appeal, but of course the, the Court of Appeal will also have to look into their diary and the availability of judges. There are so many other pending cases. Um, having said that, of course, this is a high-profile case and it is in the interest of everyone to have disposed this case as soon as possible. Um, it could take anything between three months to six months. It depends on the court, actually. But I think in this case, they will give this priority. That's right. And finally, I'd also like to ask you that, though. Um, the High Court wants mitigation to begin immediately. And in plain language, yes. what should the general public know about this process of mitigation? What is it that the High Court okay. is okay. requesting for? Uh, judgment in a criminal case is twofold. First is whether uh, the judge finds the accused guilty or not guilty of the charges. First, that's first. And I think in the morning session yesterday, the judge found him guilty of all seven charges. Then the next step is to sentence him according to the law that's there. But before the judge sentence a person, the judge will uh, first will invite the prosecution to submit uh, on their perspective. And of course, the prosecution will ask for the uh, severest or highest punishment possible. The, um, the accused, they will, of course, will mitigate by giving circumstances of facts why the court should mm -hmm. give a more lenient sentence. And in considering the mitigation, they will probably will submit um, uh, on his age, his uh, good conduct, uh, and all those things. And also, sometimes they will take into consideration health issues. So all those things, both parties will submit, and the judge will uh, decide. Yesterday, I think why the judge wanted to uh, do it as soon as possible is if there's a gap between the conviction and the sentencing. There is a, a lacuna. That means he's found guilty, but the sentence has not started. So I think it was best that the judge wanted to have the sentencing as soon as possible, and he completed it yesterday itself. So that, that is how it went. So in so far, everything going via process. Thank you so much for joining us, Dato. On that note, we will Thank take a quick break and we will be back right after with more news more views as well as more up close interviews for